can imagine that the following will happen. On Friday, Mr. Ko, as president of the IAAF, will announce that Russia will be provisionally suspended from international events. events. Until they have uh, solved their problems, they will not be allowed to compete. But I know that there's a big pressure uh, from Russia. There is a very, very close connection between the IOC uh, boss, Thomas Bach from Germany, and Vladimir Putin. Uh, Putin uh, uh, and his country were hosting the Winter Games in Sochi. They will host the Football World Cup 2018 in Russia. So there is a very, very big influence from Russia in the world of sports. There are a lot of officials in many international federations uh, from Russia. So they, again, a big influence. So I could imagine that uh, in spring 2016, someone will say, OK, uh, Russia made his homework. They have changed something. They have changed the structures. They have maybe kicked out, fired some people uh, from the Russian anti-doping agency, from the Federation, some coaches, and then they will have a restart. But I don't think that is the right way, because you cannot change the mentality of a doping culture, which has began in the Soviet Union times, that means in the 80s or 70s. It is the biggest country in the world. They are so f far, far east and far remote regions all over the place. Uh, coaches um, and, and uh, training centers were far away from Moscow. They do their own thing. You cannot control everything. There. That means it takes time. It takes time to change the system. And I don't believe in that you can do that within a year. So the best would be that they remain at home, the, 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 at least the, the track and field athletes from Russia in 2016, and they do their homework properly. And that means they cannot um, compete at the Olympics. And this would be also a really important signal for all other nations in the world that if you don't follow the rules, if you are not code compliant, you cannot compete. You cannot be part of a, of a field of athletes where they try at least to, to, to compete under the same conditions.